Hello! Welcome back for another review. Today I'm gonna be reviewing my Fitbit Ulta. So I got this for my birthday from my husband and I love it. I never was like into the Fitbits or like the iPhone um, watches really. I just like, oh, I don't care how many steps I'm taking, blah, blah, blah. And then I think it was like maybe when I started working, so Bodhi was about like six months old, and a lot of the people at the school that I was working at were wearing them. They were like, yeah, I gotta get my steps in, that helps with like losing weight. And like, I was trying to lose weight because like, um, from like the baby, so I was like, mm, maybe I need one of these. Um, I used to wear a watch like when I started coaching to tell time, so I was like, I'm wearing a watch anyways, um, so I might as well like know how many steps I'm taking, cause, um, yeah, taking steps kind of like like walking like helped with my like losing the baby weight. So um, I started looking into them because I didn't like the like the size really of the other Fitbits and I didn't like the look. Um, but then I saw like a thin one, but I don't like the ones with just, just the dots on it because I like to know the time as well. So that's why I love this one. Um, I've thought about getting like maybe it with a flat square ones. I just don't want, I just don't think I need an Apple watch, but um, yeah, so anyways. Positives about this, it's super thin, um, it's a little bit thicker like this way, um, but it's thin this way, which I love. Um, it's easily adjustable, it just has these two little like guys, and so sometimes I put it a little too tight, and then you get the little mark, um, but yeah, for the most part, it's like got a good, good setting that I like. Um, so I also like, what I didn't think of that I would use it for is <laughs> like the notifications to my phone. Um, Cause I was like, well, my, I always have my phone on me, but I always have my phone on silent. So I miss phone calls, I miss text messages because I'll just set my phone down. I never put my phone on loud, it's always on silent. So now it's nice that my phone can be on silent, but I'm still getting um, like, I, it's set to like a little like vibration. Um, so I'm still getting like notifications, like um, or if I'm in class teaching, like I can see like, if Chris is texting me, if I'm getting a phone call, so I don't exactly have to like pick up my phone and deal with it right then, but I know that like what's happening still. So that's cool. Something that I didn't think that I would use it for. So um, it's, you just turn it and then it pops on and tells you the time. So I like that. Um, let me just show you. Um, so if you don't, if it's not like where you turn it and then it tells you the time, you can just like tap it and it's kind of hard to see, hold on. Let me get you the, there's like a reflection, okay. Focus little guy. Okay, so tap it, then there's the time. Tap it again, that's how many steps. That's the distance that you've gone. That's the calories, which I still don't really understand that part. That's like your exercising, so I've done zero minutes of exercising and then the battery, which I turn that setting on. You don't have to have, well, you can customize all of them. So that's another thing that I like um, on, you got a Fitbit um, app on your phone and you can customize like what you want it. Sorry, blur. You can customize what you want it to show on your display. And I added the battery because it took me like two times of it dying um, for me to be like, whoops, like, cause I never check the app and the app tells you when it's gonna die as well. Um, but now that I can see, like, I know when I need to charge it. Cause two times I was at school and then it like died and I was like, dang it. Um, but it lasts for like, the battery lasts for maybe like five plus days, depending on um, what settings you have it to. Like you can get settings for, um, like get up and move setting, so it'll do like a little buzz, like you need to get up and do some walking. Um, you can turn off the phone notification ones, cause that takes your battery as well if you're getting a lot of like notifications. And I think that's the only, oh and the alarm. So I used the alarm once and then I was like, 
not really into it because to set it, you have to go to the app, set it on your phone, and then if you don't want it on, you have to go back to the app, turn it off. So um, <clears throat> I don't use the alarm setting, but it is cool. Like if you don't um, wake up easily or if you don't want to have your phone going off on loud and waking up other people in the bed, like that's why I used it before because I didn't want my phone alarm waking up the kids. So I just put it on my wrist and it was much better. So that was cool. Um, I don't really have a lot of negatives um, about it. I played sand volleyball once and it like almost fell off, which was the first time I really like was concerned about losing it. Um, but maybe I shouldn't be playing sand volleyball with it. Um, cause the sand actually got like in like between my skin and this thing. So that wasn't very fun either. It's not waterproof. It's water resistant. So like washing your hands is fine, but you can't go swimming with it. Um, what else? Let's see. Sorry, I didn't write notes for this one. Um, oh, I like that you can change the bands. So um, I thought about maybe like dressing it up with like a gold band or something. And then I saw the price of the gold band and I was like, Meh, no, I'm okay with the black band. But I think eventually like it would be nice um, to have a gold band. So if we're like going out or going somewhere that's a little more fancy, like this is like kind of like sporty material. So I think I would like to have like a metal band just for those like special occasions. And I think that's all. Um, one more thing that I'll show you is like how you change the bands is you just pop these little guys just um, pop off. And then you just switch the little middle piece out. So that's that. And then it charges. I don't have my charger in here, but it's basically like a little like clamp that like obviously it's not the size of my hand it's like a little clamp pinches onto it and then um, it goes into like a little USB wall charger and then I just hang it by the wall and it charges up and it charges in like two hours so charges super fast and yes that's that so I will leave the link down below to my Fitbit Alta um, charger um, Fitbit Alta Fitbit to my Fitbit Alta. Leave the link down below where you can get it on Amazon. Um, I'll also leave the link for some other ones that I looked at, um, like the step down from this one that doesn't have the display screen, just the buttons, because that one is waterproof. Um, and then I'll leave the link to the one up, which is like a little bigger um, screen that gives you more of like stuff to do on the display. So. Uh, I think that's all. Thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you haven't yet. If there's other things that you would like to see me review, please leave them down below because um, I would like to review some more things. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao.